Hello everybody, my name is Cum Goblin, and today I am going to be making a Torb Turret Guide for Defense 2 CP. Uh, for some background info, I am a 4500 peak Torb player on Xbox and PC, and I have, I'd say, roughly 500 hours on the character, so I think I know my way around the Bjorn. Before we jump into the turret spots, I have a little tip for you guys to help you guys maybe find turret spots that work even better than these ones. So if you notice the way these turrets are positioned, they are positioned in on really off angles that you wouldn't expect people to hold or take, you know, just generally odd positions. The reason for this is because when the enemy team pushes in, you don't want the first thing they focus to be your turret. You want them to focus on your team, and while your team is being focused, your turret is helping with suppressing fire. If your turret stays alive for most of the fight and is shooting for most of the fight, that's how you get the most value out of your turret. Rather than it being destroyed initially, and you have to wait a 10 second cooldown, because in 10 seconds your entire team can be wiped. Another reason for these turrets positions is the simple fact that it draws the enemy team's focus fire. If you're able to pull someone's attention from the team fight for 4 or 5 seconds and make that team fight a 6v5 or a 5v4 for just 4 or 5 seconds, that can be the difference between winning and losing a team fight. If their Zarya doesn't have communication with their Hanzo and their Hanzo turns for your turret and the Zarya grabs and Hanzo isn't able to follow up with the dragon, your team can get out of that grab and wipe their team, right? So simply pulling attention can be one of the biggest factors in winning a team fight. Now that you guys understand the basics of using Torb Turret, let's get started with Hanamura. For the first turret spot I have on the bottom right of Hanamura point B, I use this one when I'm pretty confident that the enemy team is going to be pushing main. Sometimes however, they look like they're going to be pushing main and then they rotate top left, which is totally fine. I mean, this turret spot isn't 100% ideal for that, but it does work in guarding the, the bridge area on the top left high ground. The next turret spot I have for Hanamura point B is to the right of the point on the stairs. You can put the turret on the stairs or slightly behind them. The main function for this turret is to contest the point for overtime or to guard the point when the enemy team pushes forward. It is great because it draws focus fire off of the two spawn doors and allows your team to fight with a sixth body if one of you guys goes down. This turret spot is admittedly one of my favorite in the whole game. Place your turret on the elevated square thingy on the ground so that it's facing upright towards the choke. From here, sit behind it and spam Cheetos away. This spot is amazing for doing spam damage through the choke without leaving yourself vulnerable to snipers on high ground. For example, if a Hanzo jumps through the top right window and tries to snipe you, 9 times out of 10, he will shoot your turret. If he does end up hitting you, however, your turret blocks your entire crit box, so you won't get one shot. You can also use this turret spot to contest the snipers that try to shoot you from high ground. You can AD strafe behind your turret and spam Cheetos at them freely. As an added bonus, you can also use the inverse of this turret spot on attack. Take the same angle through the choke and place a turret, and use it to body block and spam away. You can also move into the cubby to the right of the choke with a mega in it, and use a turret to body block in the doorway. I like to play in here and spam shots at shields or squishies behind the shields, and use the mega as an extra means of sustenance. In here, you are pretty much safe from everything, you do not require any attention from your supports, which is an added bonus for your team. For Horizon Point B, the first turret spot I have is in the back left of the point at the bottom of the stairs in the doorway. This turret is great for defending the point in OT, as you can just throw it to your left as you are running out of spawn to contest the point. It also contests mid and right side pushes. This turret is a great all around spot, however it does not cover high ground, which is sometimes an essential point you need a turret to cover. The next spot I have is on the back right of the point, at the bottom of the stairs in the doorway, on the other side. This turret is ideal for contesting mid, high ground, and bottom left pushes. This is where I generally play, but you gotta keep in mind, when you give yourself a better position to see enemies, like this spot, generally they can also see you better. So be careful if you are playing against snipers and using this position. The final spot for Horizon I have is on point A on the top right scaffolding. Playing here allows you to maintain high ground and maintain constant spam damage behind enemy shields if, they, if the team decides to push to the right. This position is also amazing for delaying rotations, as the first time the enemy sees the turret is when they would be rotating up the stairs. Having people stop for a split second to shoot your turret while in rotation gives your team an opportunity to get a free pick allowing for a vital edge in a team fight. For Paris Point A, playing on the top right balcony is a great position to hold with your turret. Allows your turret to see the right side push and the main choke push, while maintaining a safe distance and making it hard for the enemy team to destroy your turret. The issue with this spot, however, is the fact that you yourself are also playing at range, so if you're not confident in your Cheeto shots, I would not recommend playing here. This next spot is the traditional more hands-on approach to Paris Point A defense. Simply place your turret in the doorway here, where I'm assuming the rest of your team is going to be holding, unless you guys pull some crackhead stuff, and just spam away. 
On point B, there are two spots I always hold. If the enemy team is going to be pushing right, you want to hold them in the back corridor on the opposite side of the point. From here, you can contest a right side push or a quick rotation through main if the enemy team decides to do so. As always, use your turret to body block to get the maximum damage off onto the enemies while sustaining minimal damage yourself. The exact same can be said for if the enemy team decides to push left. Hold on the opposite side of the point, on your right side, with a turret and use it to body block and spam damage into the enemy team. On point A Temple of Anubis, I generally put my turret on this front part of the bridge here, and I continue to spam shots down the right alleyway. This is great for contesting snipers that like to push up the right side split from their team, and it also allows you to get initial poke damage off onto the enemy team. An added benefit of this spot is that the lip on the bridge actually blocks the bottom half of the turret, and this sign on the right side makes it to where the enemy team can only shoot the turret if they push up left or push all the way through the right side. 99% of the time when defending Temple Point A, the enemy team will rotate through the right side of the map. When this occurs, I normally take my turret and put it on the other side of the bridge or slightly down onto the stairs. This allows me to keep my turret in a safe position from snipers on high ground while being able to contest the people on right side. I also use this to body block, as always, and spam damage into the enemy team from a safe distance. Alternatively, if the enemy team has a really good sniper and you're worried about getting picked off, you can play on the stairs to the bottom right of the bridge and abuse the sightline between the bridge and the pillar with your turret. Your turret may not get as much value from here, but it is a way safer position, again if you are worried about a really good widow on high ground. On point B, I pretty much only use a single turret spot. It's to the back left of the point, and I use it to contest point as well as a right side push. On temple, you don't want to try to contest a mid push with your turret, as it is very easy to pick off from snipers and weird off angles. Additionally, this spot covers the back left flank, which can sometimes be an issue playing against tracers. It also allows for your Ana to play in a really safe position sitting next to your turret while getting a full LOS on your team. If you know the enemy team is pushing through main, you can back your turret up to here. It isn't as an aggressive turret spot as it does not cover the right side dark room, but it does allow for the same amount of point coverage from a safer distance. On Volskaya point A, I put my turret above the Mega here. It allows my turret to see the entirety of the point, while when the enemy team shoots back at it, it's in a very dark corner and they can only see about half of the turret clearly. This spot allows for your supports to hold in the Mega room a little bit safer, and when I play with this turret, I generally play in the hallway above the turret, to the right high ground, and in the windows, and just spam shots from above. While Sky B is an interesting point because of the turret placement diversity, this first spot almost no one knows about or thinks to do, but it has worked wonders for me in the past. Place the turret on the right side of the point on the stairway. This turret will proc al almost, but not all the time, an enemy is flanking top right, but it will always stand in the way of an enemy flanking behind on the bottom right mega. As a side note, I pretty much only use this turret spot against dive comp, as the enemy team's focus will be primarily put on your backline and they will jump right past the turret. A more traditional spot is this one that I've placed. It provides ample frontline pressure while being in a position that shoots through a tight angle, making it hard to spot slash shoot. Another unique but useful turret spot is back up here on the stairs that lead to the high ground. This spot isn't really the greatest for contesting people coming through the choke, but if you're noticing that a lot of your teamfights are occurring on point, this is a great turret spot as it allows your turret to stay alive and do damage onto the point while staying in a really safe position. The last turret spot I have is positioned above the second one I mentioned. This spot does the same thing as the other one, but not as well. But if you are playing high ground yourself, it allows easy access to do repairs and is easy to replace from the high ground. If you made it to the end of this video, I thank you so much and I hope you enjoyed the information that I provided through this content. If you like what you saw and you like me, please consider subscribing, liking the video, following me on Twitter, and follow me on Twitch, as I primarily stream on Twitch.